So the practice you want to do is you want to tell yourself, you know what? Today, I'm not going to react to anything. So you start with one day, one day at a time. Make a conscious choice that today I'm not going to react to anything. So you go to your coffee shop, you're standing there in a line to get your coffee, and this lady's standing. Have you heard the news? Do you know that there's going to be martial law, and the troops are coming right now, and the looters are coming right now? And you say, um, yeah, thank you, I appreciate it. Yes, I have. And you don't react to it. You come home and your partner is stress or whatever and runs to you and tells you um, why did you do this and you always mess things up and you never wash the dishes and you never put the cap of the toothpaste together and you always da 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 and you just look at it and you say thank you you don't react to it even though he's wrong or she's wrong and you always do things right, but they're just being an asshole or they're not being fair. You just say, okay, thank you. You don't react. Stay in your center. Bring your attention back to the center and just stay centered. I don't watch very much of the news, but... I can't help it. I hear things. Sometimes I'm curious. Those past few days I've been watching all these demonstrations and the looting and everything's been going on. Also, past few days, you know, we had helicopters over in this area. There's been gunshots or there's been tear gases shots or sirens constantly. Over, you know, today it quiet down finally after three days, but for three, four, nine stop days, this was very intense going on. And of course, it affects your nervous system. You get, you get nervous. You, get, you start feeling anxiety. You feel like, okay, it's very intense. What do you do? If you can, go to the nature. Go for a walk by the ocean. Go for a drive in the nature. Go, go in the mountains. Just go, go somewhere uh, quiet, play some meditative music, and just relax and come back to your center, reconnect to your center, and you realize that God is here, the self is present, and all is well. Everything comes down and quiets down. Then you come back home and your best friend calls and you say, oh, have you heard that they just cut off everybody's, I don't know, um, checks or you're not going to get the money or blah, 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 or someone's freaking out and is telling you a story and you're hearing it and you say, thank you. But you don't get into the story. You don't get involved with them and telling, no, that's not true or this is how it is or that is bullshit or that's a conspiracy. Do not get engaged with stories. Just hear it, say thank you, but don't react to anything. And make that your practice on not reacting to things. And you will see how quickly the quality of your well-being starts to change. and how the people around you change too. But don't do this in a way of manipulating things to go your way, because again, you're back into this unconscious manipulation of creating a situation that things go your way. I'm not talking about that. That was the old way, that doesn't work. This is about you awakening to yourself. This is about you to find inner stillness because the inner stillness, the 
one inside you, the Atman, does not change. Hold on a second, please. One moment. The Atman does not change. So, the watcher is always here. The presence is always here. That which you are. You want to reconnect with the truth of who you are. Not what you think you are. And we're going to get into this thing too. And I'll help you with it. But first thing first, one step at a time, let's go forward. Let's learn how to be still. How to be the Buddha in the midst of the chaos. How you can stay centered and not react. Not go up and down and up and down. Otherwise, welcome to hell. Your life will be hell. Because you're trying to control the world of the event and what you see this world is in chaos. So you can't control it. But you can recognize who you are and you can recognize your power. And you can recognize this part of you which is eternal and it's always here and it's untouched it cannot be touched and through that recognition of something which is real inside you something which always remains the same by recognizing that part what happens is you begin to see what you're perceiving is not real it's not real but it doesn't matter how many times I tell you that because you haven't recognized it for yourself because you're identified with what's changing. Until you recognize what doesn't change, you won't know what's changing is not real. You believe it is very real and it will scare the hell out of you. So... The purpose of everything we're doing here and everything I'm sharing with you from meditation to the teachings to the exercises is for you to recognize this part of yourself, the real you, which doesn't change and is not affected by anything that happens in the world and anything that goes on in your mind and you feel. Is never affected. It's always unaffected. It's always pure. It's always present. And it's blissed out because it is God. Because it is that. It is the self. The eternal self. And the whole thing which is happening is for us to recognize this part. To identify with the truth of who we are. And the more your attention goes into this place, which is still, the higher becomes your vibrations. You begin to vibrate because you're not identifying with the world. Your identification with the world has shifted. So you start to rise above it. 